Welcome to the Worldwire Update. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates and thrilling short scenes. In the car world, just when you think you've seen every innovation, every trend, and every comeback, Mazda surprises everyone by bringing back the legendary rotary engine, a move that's turning heads across the industry. This isn't just a nostalgic throwback for car enthusiasts. It's a daring leap that could completely reshape how we approach electric vehicles and sustainable driving. For years, automakers have been locked in a race for bigger, heavier batteries, chasing range and power at the expense of agility and fun. But Mazda's always been the company that zigs when others zag, refusing to follow the crowd just for the sake of it. Instead of joining the battery arms race, they reached deep into their DNA and revived the rotary engine, an icon of Mazda's rebellious spirit and engineering creativity. But this isn't about going backward or reliving the past. It's about fusing the rotary's unique strengths with cutting-edge hybrid technology. The buzz is real, and it's growing louder by the day. Engineers, designers, and mechanics are all fired up, inspired by the challenge and the possibilities this new chapter brings. The rotary engine has always stood for innovation, for daring to be different, and for refusing to accept that there's only one way forward. So when Mazda re-established their rotary engine development department in 2024, it felt like your favorite band getting back together for a world tour, full of promise and excitement. Now, in 2025, the entire automotive world is watching Mazda's every move, eager to see if this bold experiment will pay off. They're challenging the idea that the future of driving has to be all electric all the time. Instead, Mazda is proposing a smarter, lighter hybrid solution. One that blends efficiency, performance, and driving joy in a way that's uniquely their own. Is it a gamble? Absolutely. But sometimes the biggest risks lead to the most revolutionary rewards. After all, the greatest achievements in automotive history have always started with a bold gamble and a refusal to settle for the ordinary. If anyone can pull off this daring comeback, it's Mazda, the company that never gave up on the spinning triangle and never stopped believing in the power of innovation. So, what's the big deal about the rotary engine? Why do car enthusiasts and engineers alike get so excited about this unusual piece of automotive history? Unlike traditional piston engines, the rotary uses a spinning triangular rotor, what gearheads affectionately call a Dorito, inside an oval-shaped housing. This unique movement is what sets it apart from the up-and-down motion of pistons. Thanks to this design, the rotary engine has far fewer moving parts, which means less vibration, less mechanical complexity, and a smoother, more linear power delivery. It's an engine that loves to rev high and feels alive at the top of the tachometer. Mazda fell in love with this engine in the 1960s and spent decades perfecting it, giving us legends like the Cosmo Sport and the RX-7. These cars became icons, celebrated for their innovation and performance. The RX-7's twin-turbo rotary was famous for its unique, high-pitched sound and thrilling responsive performance. It was a car that felt like nothing else on the road. But the rotary's greatest moment came at Le Mans in 1991, when Mazda's 787B became the only non-piston car to ever win the legendary 24-hour race. It was a victory that shocked the motorsport world. That historic win cemented the Rotary's legacy, proving its potential on the world's biggest stage and inspiring generations of fans. The engine is compact, lightweight, and powerful for its size, making it perfect for nimble sports cars. Its small footprint allows for better weight distribution and handling. Driving a rotary-powered car is a unique experience, smooth, eager to rev, and full of character. There's a sense of connection and excitement that's hard to find elsewhere. The rotary isn't just an engine, it's a symbol of Mazda's passion, creativity, and relentless drive to be different. It represents a willingness to take risks and push boundaries. Its return isn't just about nostalgia. It's about reviving a legend and bringing that spirit of innovation into the future. For many, it's the soul of Mazda, a beating heart that connects the brand's past, present, and future. And now, it's back for a new era, ready to inspire a whole new generation of enthusiasts and dreamers. If the rotary was so great, why did it disappear? Its unique design made it tough on fuel and emissions, 
and it needed oil injected into the chamber, which meant more maintenance. The apex seals, crucial for sealing the engine, were notorious for wearing out, leading to costly rebuilds. Even as Mazda improved reliability, the reputation stuck. For most buyers, the quirks outweighed the thrills. By 2012, after the RX-8, the rotary faded away, a victim of stricter standards and changing tastes. For a decade, it lived on only in enthusiasts' garages and memories. But the story wasn't over, it was just on pause. Here's where Mazda's genius comes in. For decades, the rotary engine was known for its unique design and thrilling performance, but also for its thirst and maintenance needs. Now, Mazda has flipped the script. Instead of powering the wheels directly, the rotary now serves as a compact, highly efficient generator in cars like the MX-30 REV, working in harmony with the battery and electric motor. The car runs primarily on electric power for daily drives, but when the battery gets low, the rotary quietly kicks in to recharge it. No need to stop or plug in right away. It operates at a steady, optimized speed, which maximizes fuel efficiency and dramatically reduces emissions compared to traditional engines. Gone are the days of the thirsty, high-maintenance rotary, now it's a refined, reliable power source, engineered for longevity and low upkeep. Its compact size means less weight and more space inside the car, preserving Mazda's trademark agile handling and making the cabin more comfortable for passengers. The transition from battery to generator is so seamless, most drivers won't even notice when the rotary takes over. Just smooth, uninterrupted driving. This setup eliminates the rotary's old drawbacks, like excessive wear and carbon buildup, thanks to modern engineering and cleaner operation. It's the rotary, reimagined for the electric age, blending tradition with cutting-edge technology for a new generation of drivers. All the benefits, none of the baggage. That's true innovation, and it's paving the way for the future of driving. For the US, Mazda knew a single rotor wasn't enough. Americans want power, so Mazda developed a new two-rotor rotary generator for the iconic SP concept. Two rotors mean more electricity, enabling a powerful electric motor, up to 365 horsepower. This isn't just a commuter car, it's a true sports car experience. The engine stays disconnected from the wheels, running at peak efficiency. Its compactness allows perfect weight distribution and nimble handling. At under 3,200 pounds, it's light for an electrified car. This breakthrough proves rotary electric hybrids can deliver real performance without massive batteries. Mazda's two-rotor system is the key to bringing the rotary back to America. Bigger, better, and bolder. It's not just a comeback, it's a revolution. Mazda's rotary isn't just about range or performance, it's about fuel flexibility. The new engine is designed to run on next-gen, carbon-neutral fuels. The rotary's design makes it ideal for burning hydrogen, avoiding issues piston engines face. Imagine an EV you fill with hydrogen, the rotary burns it, producing only water. That's zero emissions driving, no heavy battery required. Mazda's also targeting synthetic e-fuels, made from renewable energy and captured CO2. Burn them in the rotary and you're carbon neutral. This approach doesn't lock us into one solution, it's adaptable for the future. The rotary generator bridges today's combustion world and tomorrow's zero emissions dream. Mazda's engineering isn't just about fun, it's about sustainability. It's a holistic vision for the future. So, where does this leave us? Mazda's betting big on a technology everyone else abandoned. The rotary is back, not as a relic, but as the heart of a new electrified powertrain. It challenges the idea that only pure battery EVs are the future. Mazda's system offers EV smoothness and range without the weight and cost of giant batteries. It's clever engineering over brute force. Of course, it's a gamble. Success depends on execution and public acceptance. But this is what makes the car world exciting. Daring to be different. Whether it becomes the new standard or a brilliant niche, Mazda deserves credit for trying. The rotary's back, and the future just got a lot more interesting.